Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have an open box video of a different sort for you. And this is something that I hope to eventually turn into some type of a special video series on a website. But we'll see what happens. I actually sent in nine different Indian head pennies, all um, with the hopes of getting uh, nine different grades. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to build out some grade sets so that I have the ability to show people the difference from one grade to the next. So we'll see how we did. Of course, this is your beginner grade. We're going for um, on this, the first coin in the series, good four. All right, so I was one for one, and that's a good start. I should probably stop there, but we'll move on. So we're gonna to go to the next series, the next coin here. You'll see the difference as you start to see just a little bit of detail start to pop up in the headdress. Just a touch of detail. Now the Indian on the other one is completely flat. And then on the reverse also, you'll start to see just a little bit of detail to the shield that wasn't there before. And good six. All right, so technically I'm two for two. Maybe we should stop there. All right, next up. So we're gonna go from that little bit of detail to, you can start to see just a little bit more. Now you start to see some roundness in the cheek and some roundness in the rest of the design. And then on the reverse, all of a sudden, oh, we got a little bit of some leave action going on there. Stuff that was not there before, that was mostly flat. VG10, okay, so this is where we start going off the rails. So those first three grades are spot. Spot on. This next coin here, um, my intention was to get a fine on this coin. And you see they start to jump up. Uh, you have a little bit of the word liberty on there. And uh, the reverse looks pretty similar to the other coin, the last coin. A little bit more detail in the arrows. So this one, they jumped me up to a VF20. I really was expecting to get like a fine 15 because the next coin here, I was expecting to get something like a VF20 on. Now, so to me, these two coins, this one they called a VF30. So this coin has a lot more detail into the Liberty. And you see just the slow progression here from one grade to the next, you start seeing more details in the shield. I shouldn't say I've technically gone off the rails yet here, but this coin, so the next coin also, they called a VF30. So I wanted to find a VF. This this I was going for a, a middle to higher grade VF. And I thought this coin had more detail than the previous coin and they ended up calling it the same grade. So, a little bit of a disappointment there because I, I really wanted these two to be different grades. And then from there, this one ended up hitting a grade low for me because then after I had a couple hit a grade high, I was trying to hit the XF40 button on this one and it came back VF35. And you can see how much more detail there is in the feathers. And that's kind of a key on these guys as you go from one to the next, you start seeing a lot more feather detail, overall detail in the cheek, the roundness in the, the, lower, the lower ribbons. There's ribbons that come down from the headdress And you'll start seeing a little more detail in all of that. And then on the reverse also, just that nice gradual transition. So then I have this big jump because this one I expected to be an extra fine and it was a VF35. And then this coin here, this coin came back, I think probably about right because I'm just kind of missing an XF grade. So I was going for a couple different AU examples next uh, in this coin, you'll see has a little bit of luster to it, 
and there is even a little there's a little bit of mintiness to it still, right? So you see those areas near the rims. So I can understand the big grade jump. This is AU53, which is, I think, a good grade on that. But, uh, you know, that 35 to 53 is not the jump I wanted when I did this. So I wanted to have another coin, another grade between those two for sure. For sure, for sure. And then last but not least, we have a coin that has some mint luster to it still. A little bit of mint luster. There you go, you can see the mint luster on this side a little better. As it moves around. And it has just a little bit of wear on the cheek and on the um, ear, anywhere it gets a little dark there, the eyebrow, that one tuft of hair under the Bean Liberty, all of that has just a little bit of wear. This is an AU58. So overall, um, not bad considering, you know, I'm just trying to actually get numerically different grades. I will say that um, somewhere in that VFXF range, we got a little askew, but the good 4, 6, 10 did pretty good on the front part. And then these last two coins, I think, came back great. So I'll continue to work on this project of mine that is something that strictly came to mind because of uh, the YouTube channel. And uh, I'm going to keep building out some educational stuff and we'll see how it goes. So thanks guys so much for watching and uh, you can leave your comments down below and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek.